start again with the another video with new reaction. Today we are taking pina coal rearrangement. In what happens in pina coal rearrangement? In pina coal rearrangement, pina coal is getting converting into pina coloname. And this reaction is taking place in presence of acid. And the acid here is H2SO4. That means pinacol, when one to di or pinacol is created in presence of H2SO4, pinacolone is formed. And the yield of pinacolone is 70 cos. So this is your yield of product. Okay, uh, let us see the reaction. What is pinacolone and what is 1 to diol and how pinacolone is formed? First, we will take the reaction. After that, we will tell you about the uh, mechanism how this reaction is taking place and why we are calling it a rearrangement. How the rearrangement is taking place and see the reaction is here we are having 1 to diol. 1 to di diol means two hydroxy groups are present and methyl group substituent methyl group carbon valency is fulfilled here here also so this is your pinacol 1 to diol pinacol this reactant in presence of H2SO4 is I am writing here the uh, product is forming a ketone. A ketone, and here will be having three methyl group. So, this is your product, and this is your inner color. This is your Pina colon from pina colon. This is the reaction. Now we will uh, talk about the mechanism. See, here we are taking acid. Whenever there is an acid, how can you forget about carbocation? That means there will be the formation of carbocation. So let's see the mechanism. Mechanism now. See. I have I was saying that whenever there is acid, there will be formation of carbocation. If carbocation formation is taking place, that means first step will be here, protonation. Why we are saying protonation? Because we have two hydroxyl group. That means protonation of one hydroxyl group allows, uh, that means there will be protonation of one hydroxyl group. Let's see how. Here we are having carbon, carbon. Hydroxyl group, hydroxyl group, two methyl to this carbon and two methyl to this carbon. This is your uh, main reactant and here we are having long layer of oxygen also. What happens? We are taking acid. If we are taking acid, that means H positive release is in this release of H positive. So there will be formation of protonated carbon. So here we will be having carbon, carbon with proton here. And here this will be the same 2 methyl and 2 methyl. I am not writing the methyl, it is very obvious. Okay. So protonated carbon is here. After the protonation, what happens? This the protonation of one hydroxyl group is there, is it unstable now? Its unstability, what will, what will happen here? You just uh, think about it, but it is unstable now and the unstability will lead to removal of water molecule. Your uh, next step here, removal of water molecule will be there and formation of carbocation will take place. So here we are having two methyl groups. And uh, all that we will not write, it's very much obvious that these are methyl, we represent them as it is. So, there will be formation of carbocation. So, first step is protonation and formation of carbocation formation. 
and look at that. Foundation. Okay, this is your first. Now, what will happen? Whether it is stable carbocation, whether it is unstable, we will see. Uh, we take the next step. After the formation of carbocation, we are taking now we are taking the second step. In second step, what happens? There will be rearrangement. But rearrangement of what? Hydrogen, carbon, what? Or alkyl group. Rearrangement of alkyl. But why this rearrangement is required? See. What was the, our last carbocation? It was this one. Let's see whether what carbocation is there, whether it is primary, secondary, and tertiary. And we know that tertiary carbocation is stable. Okay, see. What happens? Carbocation is already 1, 2, 3, attached with the 3 carbon atom. It is already a tertiary carbocation. And second thing, there is no strain. When there is no strain, there is a stable carbocation. Why there is a rearrangement? And what is the source of rearrangement? Okay, let's see. Here, we are saying this, there is another source of the uh, stability to this carbocation. Means the source of, uh, there is a we are saying that there is another source of the electron for this stabilization of these carbocation. And these are the lone pairs present in the oxygen atom. But why we are talking about these lone pairs? What, what is the reason? See, oxygen is very good at stabilizing the positive charge. Oxygen stabilizes the positive charge and weighs away from this positive charge. Adjacent carbon is having positive charge, so it will not stabilize. It is not in the stabilizing form. So when we arrange the methyl group, so that positive charge will come to this carbon and this positive charge will be stabilized by this oxygen. Okay, see what happens, what will happen, there will be the rearrangement of this methyl group to this carbon. See how this will be this, I am just migrating it, this is moving here to this position. Okay, and this is moving here in this position. So this pull and then it is forced into this part. So what will be the product? We will be having double bond form positive hydrogen. One methyl group is here, carbon, and three methyl group will be here. Okay. One metal will be here and we are having this product of the methyl migration. Okay, now what happens? By the loss of proton, this oxygen then gives a stable ketone. So after this, on our team here, we are here having our product. What will be our product? Here we will be having double bond O methyl, 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 methyl. So this is your phenol colon. Phenol colon after loss of proton. So what is the concept behind this rearrangement is that is we are having another source of non pair, another source of electrons that is oxygen and oxygen is good at stabilizing the positive charge on adjacent carbon and it is less good if it is present two atom away from that means that means third carbon atom. Okay, so it, it does not stabilize it. So this is the concept behind the rearrangement, although it is already a tertiary carbon, that means stable carbocation. Okay, this is all about the Hapina called rearrangement and mechanism. Thank you for watching the video.